If you have mature skin and you do have wrinkles in the under eye area, you have come to the right place. Please keep on watching. I am going to share with you two products, one a concealer and the other one the under eye powder that I have tried and tested in my under eye area for a long time and it has worked every single time I have applied it. So over the years, I have tried so many concealers from drugstore to brand names to luxury brands and nothing really seemed to work for me. They would either cake by the end of the day or would crease so bad that I would look much older than what I am right now. And I was just so frustrated um, at that point. And then I found this concealer that I'm about to talk about. Um, in combination with the setting powder it just works seamlessly every single time I have applied um, it applies very smoothly it goes on very smoothly it does not cake or wrinkle at the end of the day it just stays put all day long and I really really enjoy that um, the the concealer that I'm talking about is the tar shape tape uh, original concealer so this is not the creamy version. The creamy version, for some reason, it did not work for me. It just creased an hour after I applied it. So I just sticked with the original version. I am in shade 35N um, and it just works so beautifully. Now, it, this in combination with the Huda Beauty Banana Powder works like a gem for me this combination is a bomb i apply it with a wet beauty blender and it just goes on very smoothly very quickly very easily stays put all day long so without further ado let's get started let's just jump into how i apply and then we'll come back and talk more about this combination so first thing first it is so important to apply moisturizer in the under eye area it will help you to prevent your concealer from caking or creasing and looking really dry in that area. So I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue, but you can just pretty much use any moisturizer that you like. And I just put in a couple of dots, like so, to make sure that it's moisturized. And I tap it like that for a few seconds to just make sure that it's sinking in into my skin. Okay, so once you are done applying your moisturizer in the under eye area, and if you have dark circles like I do, you do want to apply a color corrector. Now I am using the NARS color corrector. I am in shade medium. This is a beautiful color corrector. It works every single time again with the tar shape tape. So I'm just gonna dot in the dark area of my under eye. And with my finger, I'm gently tapping the color corrector into my skin. And once that's done, I'm gonna then go in with my shape tape concealer. And this concealer dries really fast, so you do wanna work fast. And I'm taking a damp beauty blender you notice I'm doing a tapping motion then a rubbing motion because you do want to make sure your color corrector underneath and your moisturizer doesn't move so you want to apply a tapping motion and see how it goes on the other 
other side. So before applying the setting powder, I do want to take the damp beauty blender and make sure that I take care of all the creases that it may have created um, once I applied the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I am just going in, taking off all my creases and making sure there are none left, just like so. And then I take any brush, dip it in the setting powder and go right in. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Make sure there are no creases before I apply the setting powder. So I go in. And then I gently want to remove the excess setting powder, just like so. And there you have it. Wasn't it so easy and quick to apply the concealer and the setting powder? And it stays smooth like this all day long. Let me bring you a little bit closer so you can see how it looks. Here we have it. This is a close-up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.